friends and hello student my name is ashok sijala in this session we learn the number of word from the string and it's also we have to print the length in c level so first i share my laptop screen and fix the position here so you can watch better way my video lecture and here turbo c plus plus i double click and take some process and now this is open ultra f file menu taking new file and here will call write a program to enter one string or we can say that one statement and <clears throat> find out find out number of words yes and its length so that is our goal so yes you have to know very well uh, in one statement and blank after that we have to consider as a one word so that is our logic and we can also print how many number of word in one statement and each word that is a length how number of character of that word and that we have to use both static and dynamic string so let us start so first i give one example so input just uh, here first what is a input so this is a like pen and what is a output so we can say that this that is a four character so we can print as a uh, vertical but here that i print as a horizontal so is that is two character a that is not word but one that is we have to one blank that one word we have to consider and then pen that uh, and dot also consider one character so that is four character and number of uh, that we can say that number of words at that we have to say that that is also four because uh, this is a pen so four uh, that word in one statement this is a pen and each and every word that length we have to also number of character how it's print uh, so that we can print and now i give multi comment line for your reference so you can easily understand so that is our input and output then what is a process so what is a logic so we can one blank that is what one, one word we have to consider <clears throat> so first our header file and first i include and then on your so first we can use as a static uh, string and then we can take as dynamic string so void main and then we can take some variable so first uh, that is string and that 50 that fixed size and let us take some integer variable so here we can take as a number of words so that c w or word c words yes c w is also must uh, and uh, first assigned to zero yes and length length also assigned to zero <clears throat> yes and then we can number of word that length yes uh, both are considered and that one take as iteration variable of i yes, so that is a that perfect and clear the screen so we can declare three integer and one character string one day array so first we can scan yes uh, so enter one string or one statement you can say that and get s so you if you know very well different get s and scan a function so if you not to know then you can watch my youtube one lecture get s versus scan a function so get s is a uh, with blank page that include one string is scan and scan f is limit only scan one word so after white paste that termination so we can use better get s and now we can take as for loop so i equal to zero then string you have to know every string terminate with uh, null so not equal to null that number of time loop is repeat and i plus plus so what is a logic now we can start so first we can take one if condition and that is uh, not equal to blank yes so we can consider as a one word so first we can say here we can print also that word yes that is first we can 
print so percent as c character by character and that uh, string of that is and we can count that uh, length so length plus plus and that uh, i close uh, and else part if next uh, so we can take a c word so word i also plus plus and then length i assign to zero <clears throat> because that is a uh, we can also print yes here first print and then zero so first i can print that word length so we can provide one bank and percentage d yes that is a length that is an integer so number of word count and length assigned to zero again because next word we have to consider and then after closing press and after for loop we can print the how many number of word so we can say that uh, the number of uh, words are yes and percentage d and we can print the cw count no, count word or number of word and then get ch so first i save that file so here we can count the words so string word just dot c so yes uh, that is a counting but uh, here maximum eight characters so yes that file name already exit because uh, string and we can say that uh, word length yes so yes that length we can give w length word length okay so yes now that i can compile yes that is uh, what happened here so yes uh, that is a yes a single quote not double quote because that is a one blank pass yes not double quote single quote so that is perfectly and yes anything now else so we can use or four variables so that is i we have to use length that was assigned to zero number of word i first give that uh, word as zero but that uh, require one because in uh, after that our if condition is false not equal to null so that not go in the else part and one word is remaining to plus plus so we can first initialize one but let us check that happen or not so yes here semicolon yes and now there is no any error yes so that is perfect so any error we can remove there is no problem so i give same example this is a pen so let us check yes sir. so four character yes this is two yes that a is one but we have to require two slash n so perfectly so after our length is print so we can provide the slash n so taking the new line to new word and that length so now let us check i give same so this is a n and that is our input and yes you can look that is our output but you can lo look last word that not count that length so and word is four but you are giving the three words so that is a and last word we have to also print that length so where we have to print that length so that is a here we can print percentage d and length yes here and uh, what is the remaining so this number of words so we can provide here slash n so that is a new line and length uh, that is perfectly but the counter number of word we can assign not zero but one so i previously told you that is a one is not uh, in last time that is not blank is after this is a pen pen after there is no any blank so that one word is considered not in go in the as part so that directly loop is a, a null getting and that loop is if condition is uh, that for loop is false and that go out but one word is not count so we can assign to c count word variable to one so now let us check i give the same example so perfectly yes now that all are well so this is a four is two a is one pen and dot so four character yes and that also we can provide one blank so <clears throat> now we can take as a dynamic here i give the first i can say that we can consider both static so that is a static script 
and now we cannot wasting our memory so i remove this static and with the pointer so that is a look better so means you are not wasting of any memory so we are uh, student study in f5 bca sam1 so that is a long statement 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 word yes seven yes perfectly v is 2 r is 3 student is 7 study is 5 into f5 bca 5 and sam 1 dot 5 so that is a 5 character and all number of word is 7 so there is no any problem so that is a dynamic also but uh, we can reserve the memory block so we can use malloc calloc or free function so yes uh, we can take one variable and that is n number of size or you can also take a size variable so first we can take the size so let us check enter size of string and that we can scan the n variable you can also take a size variable but here i take as an n variable and then we can use as malloc or calloc so you have to know malloc uh, that return data type is void pointer so we can require here type casting and character data type so asterisk sign and that is and just we have to pass because character data type require only one byte here you can multiply size of that operator is required and character pass so only that is one character and one multiply n so that is the same thing here so malloc and now after we can print and that we can uh, take as free function so that is a must be so that is dynamic memory allocation function malloc calloc realloc and free function there are four function in dynamic memory location but uh, here that uh, sometime taking error buffer is overflow first i let's check that error is first i take is a one error and getting the knowledge so i give the same so but here first pass the length so i give the 20 uh, size of strings but yes you can look here our string is not scanning and directly number of word is one so what that is buffer is overflow that is an error means logically error so what is a solution so yes so that is our one function we can use as a f flush function so buffer is clear and before the get s we can use std in so our string is not scanned so that time character data type sometimes that buffer is overflow so we can use as a flush function so now I can save compile. Yes, let us check. So 25, I give the more size. Yes, now that perfectly you can look. This is a pen. Now I can scan it. Yes, and yes, all are well. So perfectly. Yes, or previously output as it is same. So that is a dynamic. And here I remove. Yes, I just show you. Yes, here I remove the size of operator and let us check that perfectly work yes there is no in here because only one parameter in the malloc function and that is a number of size so character require only one but integer that you can must use size of operator because integer data type take two bytes and character require one byte only character that type of possible only one otherwise you multiply the size of operator and that data type that number of bytes so i give like uh, uh, this is a computer or any words on any statement. So yes, uh, first I gain the size yes, I by mistakely. So I now skip and run again. So here I give more size like 50 number of size. And now I can scan this is a computer. So now I that perfectly. And just look, so these four is two A is one computer and dot. So computer one eight, but dot consider so nine uh, character or uh, that word consider as a nine character and number of word is four consider. So that perfectly. So all are well. We can use a static and dynamic and very interesting session. And here we can use as malloc to calloc. So there is a two parameter but which parameter so that is a size of yes here must you can use size of uh, that is two uh, that uh, require two parameter in calloc function otherwise 
the taking error let us check first i take as error so just here there is no any error but uh, there are requires calloc there is a two argument yes here let us check any runtime error or no any error so, so i give first uh, 50 and this is a pencil or any so yes there is no any error but uh, if any error i that size of and pass the year character data type so that is one character so there is no any problem so here yes, here one parenthesis remaining so here's the, that perfectly so now no any error and that is same so now i give the some 55 so we are students yes only three words so yes but perfectly so malloc calloc and that uh, free function we have to use three and here there is no change yes perfectly our logic is work so malloc first i use then calloc and one parameter one only you have to pass there is <coughs> no problem but uh, calloc required two argument but here character data type you can only one pass there is no problem because size of provide only one uh, byte size that is one byte equal to one character so that is a one byte required for character data type so there is no issue so now all are well. So write this program to your C uh, notebooks. Here we can take a static and dynamic both string and number of word count from string or one statement. And that length we have to also print. That is a perfectly. So yes, LC flag, uh, that is logic. So write, uh, yes, I now close this session. So very simple logic I develop for you. So here I think you have to know, understand where any one blank that consider as a one word. So we can uh, plus the length plus plus, but one word that uh, we can plus initialize as a one because after that uh, last word that not counting. So we can initialize C count variable is a one initially at declaration time. First I assign to zero, but one word is considered to remaining. And length assigned to zero because every time new word coming that assigned to uh, starting to length is zero and then plus plus length in the uh, if part. So if else logic and for loop and very simple I can develop for you. So every word and then length we have to count as perfectly and static and dynamic both high. And here one problem yes we can also use a flush function so that is also important. So now I can close this file. So yes, alter F3 function key and quit. So subscribe my channel or show Jalakiti. Press the bell icon to never miss any update. Thanks for your watching, supporting, and sharing my video lecture. And Hare Krishna.